Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the November Bambox Horror Box. Still looking very, very plain, not branded as Bambox yet. They've been talking about over for over a year how they're going to change this, but eh, no. But I'm not going to be around long enough to find out, to be honest. This is my last box I'm going to be doing from Bambox. Uh, I'm still going to keep on going with my Fright Crates because I'm really, really enjoying those. They're very unique. Uh, I love the t-shirts from it and the the resin casts from Serial Resin Co. have been really awesome. Um, uh, a few things, a few reasons why I'm, I'm stepping out on the BAM box. It's not a bad box. For the right person, it's a very good box and it has good value. It's just that the autographs in it, uh, I've kind of gotten to a point where I've been going to enough horror conventions that I, I want to switch over and have it where only the autographs I'm displaying are ones that I've gotten myself. So I have an actual personal story tied to each one of those. Uh, and also, I was in it still for the, the pins and the art prints. And I feel like the art prints have actually gone downhill considerably because they're not getting so much actual like hand-done art anymore, which is what I was looking for and they were doing for a while. It's more computer graphics stuff that I'm not really into. So the pins are still good, though. Uh, I still like the pins, so for that reason, I still kind of really heavily considered it, and I was like, eh, I could still stick with it, but for the price tag, um, to, to just be in it for the pins is not really worth it to me, plus, you know, I'm not getting nearly as many views out of these uh, unboxings for BAM boxes I used to, so uh, that's just the thing in general, like YouTube's kind of dying out on the unboxing, so um, hopefully these companies don't have problems staying keeping going because if youtube's any indicator people are losing interest so i don't know we'll see so anyway uh not not to be like a complete downer on this but hopefully this is a really good box because actually i've been going through kind of a it's been a really rough day today really rough day so um i like to turn to things like this to kind of like pep me up and be like oh cool a box of fun stuff so hopefully this is a really good box i like to go out on a good one so let's see. I do know there's supposed to be a signed Funko Pop in this one, which I am all about that. I think those are really cool. All right, tissue paper for my cat, obviously. More. It's like three sheets. She's going to be pretty happy. All right, so I want to do the pop last. So let's get... Okay, let's just do the pin first because that's kind of what I grabbed. Um, what? Okay. I was just reading the back of it and I, I didn't get it. Design is by Wizard of Barge, and it's called Ak Ak Ak. It is Mars Attacks, obviously. Yeah, it looks good. I love those colors on it. The green and the pink go together extremely well. That looks really, really cool. And you know what? I don't even know if I've seen uh, Mars Attacks in its entirety. I know I've at least seen pieces of it, but it was such a wacky movie when it came out. I feel like it probably aged pretty well in the sense of like a crappy fun movie. So I think I should check that out. I really think I should check that out. But anyway, this looks good. I like the de design on that pin. That's well executed. Oh, cat's already getting on the tissue paper, if you can hear it. I'm sure you can. All right, so let's go with the art print next. Oh, I got a one-up. Ba-boo! Don't want know what that's going to end up being. Oh, very nice that I get a one-up on my last box. I like that. All right, so here we go. We have uh, art print is from... Uh, da -da -da -da. Zombie, Z O M B E E, Zombie. Uh, and this one is called Dawn. And it's Dawn of the Dead. I mean, it's fine. Not particularly into it. It, I mean, it's, it's very, very plain, in my opinion. Uh, and it's kind of weird because where's the reference to what Dawn of the Dead actually is? It kind of looks like it's like, you see that? It's just like, it's like desert like desert land with a zombie head dawn of the dead is in an in a mall so i don't really get i don't get it i don't really get it and this is another one of those things where it's not like hand done art it's just it's just not what i'm looking for some people might like it not me not my thing um what is at the bottom here Ugh. this feels like it's some sort of Forey electric sales advisor sean I guess it's Shaun of the Dead reference. I guess that's where he worked. And there's a smudge on here. It's dirty. And that's not coming off. So that's just a actual imperfection in it. 
eh, these things are cheap. I don't really care for them. They did do one some time ago that was uh, Bruce Campbell's S-Mart badge, which that was cool because that's a very, like, known thing from from uh, Army of Darkness. So I think it's just the pop then. Really? Okay. Does this seem light? This seems like a light box. Okay. So it's in a pocket protector. Awesome. Uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. I didn't even know they were doing... Um, yeah, I didn't even know they were doing pops for this. And I haven't even seen it yet. I've heard a mix of things. And I think part of the problem is it's like PG-13. So you're going to have some people who see it and they're like, Oh, scary stories to tell in the dark. And Guillermo del Toro is involved. So it should be great. But they just don't like PG-13 horror movies. And then I think also, um, you have people on the other side who go into it and they're just like, I'm fine with PG-13. So, you know. But anyway, I will see it eventually. And it is Jangly Man. Jangly Man. Sorry. Let me, let me pull this off because you can probably see better. Because I still have this, like, film on it. Actually, I'm going to have to open the top of it, of the protector anyway, because it wasn't closed properly by whoever put it, put it there. But it's signed by do, 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 Troy James, who played Jangly Man in Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Which, cool. Like, obviously, I don't really have, like, a tie to this guy. I can't be like, oh, sweet, Troy James, because I haven't seen it yet. So, I mean, maybe I'll see it and be like, okay, cool, Troy James, like that guy. But I do think it's cool that they keep doing this. Well, not keep doing it. This is only the second signed uh, Funko Pop they've done for horror. Um, they've done a, a bunch more, I know, for the, the pop culture box. i got to get this tab in there. Man, that is... I think it's all messed up. Okay, there we go. So here you can see it better now. There you go. Jangly Man. So sorry. There's a lot of... And you can see the auto... His autograph looks good. Got to be honest, it looks pretty nice. The pop itself is kind of, eh. It's just very, very drab. But I guess I'll have to see the movie to, like, you know, know how truthful it is to the actual material. And then, once again, like, they have their thing on the top. Where it's their certificate of authenticity, and they have the number and everything, so you can authenticate that. So that's cool. All right. I like that they're doing that. And that's that's literally it. Okay. Um, all right, so, uh, I guess, did I get the variant, I guess my upgrade, yeah, my upgrade was the art print, whoopee, um, which, they did the thing I totally hate with their art print variants, which is, it's just a slight color differentiation, you see this? It literally is, like, the, the most, the least difference I've seen in their variants for art prints they've ever done. Like, literally, that makes no difference. Whatever. Like, and, and that's the that's one of the reasons I'm out on Bambox, because their art prints, they've just gotten so lazy on these art prints, man. It's so lazy. Um, so that's that. That's the art print from Dawn of the Dead, which, like I said, like, it doesn't even really tie in. It, it's just the zombie aspect of it. Excuse me. Um, the scary stories to tell in the dark pop. We got that. The fan art print or the fan art pin. I'm sorry. Ooh, there's some, um, cool variants with the pin. You see like the blasters. I think the blasters are really cool, especially the one that's color. Yeah, those are cool blasters. And then there's a movie prop. Yeah. From Shaun of the Dead. I was right. That, that, that name tag is from Shaun of the Dead, whatever. Uh, and then the giveaway that they had was for a signed Jennifer Tilly photo of her with her doll from Chucky. Let's see it down here. Right there. That's a pretty cool picture. So whoever won that, cool. She's got some voice, huh? <laughs> it's a thing. Okay, so, oh, and this is their Box 11, if you needed to know that. I was still going with the whole monthly thing. I know they changed that partially because then they can kind of ship it whenever. Because um, this one, obviously, is pretty late. I just got it literally today on the 21st of December, and it's a November one. So, I think that's a big reason they changed it to, like, Volume 3, Box 11. Because then they can be like, oh, well, it's not for a specific month. So whenever you get it, you get it. Even though they charge you monthly. So, you know. 
But anyway, um, this is okay. I mean, like I said, I like the pop. Don't really care about the art print. I think that's pretty, you know, disappointing. But the uh, pin. The pin is really cool, too. So the pin might be my favorite thing just because I haven't seen scary stories to tell in the dark. But this, these are always a cool item to have, especially signs. So good stuff. Anyway, put your comments down there. I have a feeling there are going to be some people who are just like on this box um it always goes both ways some people are just like yeah i love it every time and people who crap on it every single time but i'm out that's the end of it uh but i'm still doing my freight crates and i might pick something else up in the in the future a lot of people have lobbied for me to do zobi um there's zobi horror so i might consider that that's like a bi-monthly i know so i don't know we'll see but anyway thanks everyone for checking this out please do me a quick favor hit that subscribe uh, I'm not going to be doing any more of these BAM box unboxings, but I'm still doing Fright Crate, but I'm also doing a lot of horror movie reviews, and I put a lot of time and effort into those, uh, doing research and watching the movie and putting, you know, writing things down about theme and backstory and everything on that. So I really break it down. It's really not just reviewing the movie. It's kind of analysis. So, you know, throw me a bone here. Subscribe, comment. You can do the like if you want to, but the subscribe means more. Thanks for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.